You think you're being healthy. You grab a bottle of water on the go, even reusing that bottle to help the environment. Well, the water may be fine, but you might need to worry about the bottle instead. Here's NBC's Michelle Kaczynski. We carry them everywhere. And I keep it all day. Our water bottles are a part of our lives and our environment. Each day my water routine consists of about five Phillips using this container. And I, I sip on it all day long. Healthy, right? Well, many of those sturdy, reusable plastic bottles contain a chemical, bisphenol A, that many scientists are worried about. This is Lloyd Stovall reporting from Media Library. Today, we are talking about warnings for plastic bottles and those little numbers on the bottom of it. According to the old guides for plastics, the number one bottles were okay to use for food. The new updated guide now shows that number one bottles should not be used for food. We're trying to figure out exactly what's going on here. A lot of reports are misleading, but I think what we have here is something that we all should take heed. On Wednesday, we told you about an upcoming government report that raises some serious questions about the safety of those plastic bottles you use probably every day. And you had lots of questions, so our chief medical editor, Dr. Nancy Snyderman, came to armed, hopefully, with some <laughs> answers. Nancy, Nancy, good morning to you. Hi, Matt. Here's what happened yesterday. We started yeah. talking about the bottles, the plastic mm -hmm. bottles that we use in our lives almost every day, the kind we have our water in, our soft drinks, things like that. And we talked about the number that you can find right. inside the triangle on the bottom of those bottles and talked about three numbers three six and seven don't just have this bisphenol um, compound bisphenol a that everyone spoke about but different chemicals seven does have bisphenol it does six and three have, have other, other chemicals like polyvinyl toxins. chloride that we know in rat studies can be linked to cancers and other problems the big question and let me just sort of take you back a few decades to cyclamates which you may right, remember sure, absolutely rat studies show showed the cyclamates in big quantities caused cancer. So now here we are this many years later with different chemicals in the environment and the question is can we take rat studies and extrapolate to humans? And I think the word of caution is we don't know. So this month a large-scale government study will release its results. Animal tests have shown that bisphenol A affects hormones, but you find it in many baby bottles too and heating is thought to make it leach out even more. I thought these were safe. Still, a federal panel of experts has some concern that even low levels cause neural and behavioral effects in children and fetuses. Keep in mind, all plastics can degrade, especially with harsh treatment like dishwashing or microwaving. So you may not want to reuse anything to the point that it's getting shabby. I use the same water bottle probably way too often. It's just another thing to worry about out there. No question, more research is needed. In the meantime, you can always check that number on the bottom or just go back to old-fashioned glass. For today, Michelle Kosinski, NBC News, Chicago. Dr. Leo Trasande is from the Mount Sinai Center for Children's Health and the Environment. Doctor, good to have you here. Good morning. Good morning. I, I, I think people are going to be surprised by this. As you and I were talking before, there is not an awful lot of awareness about this. So when the results of this study come out, are we going to have to change our behavior? Well, I think there's some very safe and simple steps that families can take to protect themselves from this health risk. Let's talk about what we see every day. And if we start down at that end of the table, sure. these are the bottled waters, these are the soft drinks, the Gatorades, things like that, that we consume by the millions. Now, those are number ones, if you look in the little triangle. On a first use, is there any problem with those bottles? These polyethylene bottles are safe for single use, but they're very hard to clean. And as you clean them, especially with harsh chemicals, the chemicals and the microbes that naturally occur in our mouths can get in those crevices that occur. And unfortunately, they get transmitted back to us as a scratched, things like that. Now they can pose a risk? It's definitely time to throw them away. In fact, I suggest that they use them just once. Also, heating liquids in those bottles is also not a good idea. It could cause chemicals to leach. Heating liquids in those bottles, especially microwaving them, really is effective at getting the chemical out of the plastic and into the food. All right. During this interview, she sends us to a website, and I'm wondering why they said to avoid number one when they just said it was okay. 
This is why most companies do not refrigerate your water at their facilities. Two, most trucks are not refrigerated, especially water bottle trucks. I hope it wasn't 90 degrees out there. And three, once it gets to the store, most of the water is not put in cold storage. So when it's at the store, it either sits out on the floor for a very long time. So it has plenty of chances, especially being transported to leach this poison into your water because being in a car or a truck at even 50 degrees is like putting it in a microwave. This is why I guess the company says it is better to be safe than sued. Nalgene bottles, which a lot of people haven't even heard of. These are the ones in the center here. Those, if you look in the triangle, they have, some of them have the number seven. You suggest never using those bottles. That's why it's especially important to look at the bottom of the bottle and identify the number that it comes from. Number seven, bisphenol A, is a, a chemical that mimics hormones in our body and can affect the hormones but, in our body. But are those bottles dangerous on first use or only on after we reuse them? The bottles with the numbers three, six, and seven are not safe for use across the board. I think this is going to startle a lot of people. A Centers for Disease Control study detected BPA, is that bisphenol A? Yes. In the urine of 95% of adults sampled, scientists have measured BPA in the blood of pregnant women, in umbilical cord blood, and in the placentas, all at levels demonstrated in animals to alter development. Now that's a very alarming fact, isn't it? Unfortunately, there's no level of exposure that has been identified as being safe. And children and women of childbearing age are especially susceptible. All right, since you mentioned children, let's move on. I, we After watching this, I had more questions than I could imagine. But there is a number one question that's at the top of my list. And it sets precedence on whether I'm going to use plastic or not. And that is, would you let your children use these plastic bottles? Well, I got my answer directly from the doctor herself. Would your advice to, to someone be to err on the side of caution or to throw caution to the wind? Well, I went home yesterday and pulled every bit of plastic out of my cupboards and I looked at everything and I was surprised to find that the really hard bottles that my husband uses when he's biking had a lot of sixes and sevens but a lot of my plastic cups and a lot of bottles had nothing on them so even as a consumer and as a physician and someone who knows this government report I was left scratching my head we heard from the American Chemistry Council after right. our segment yesterday here is a highly educated woman in the very science that she is talking about. So she's not just talking out the side of her neck. So I think for me, I'm going to follow her lead. If it's good enough for her children, it's good enough for mine. And the question hovering over all of this is that after you repeatedly sort of beat up plastic right. and you hurt the integrity of the outside, do chemicals leach out into your food and water? Now, common sense would say, yeah, probably yes. Of course, if the answer she gave is not what you want to hear, then you'll do the opposite. You'll find someone to give you the answer you wanted to hear so you can feel better about using something that could be potentially dangerous. Subject. Great website that we found yesterday, and I hope we pulled it up as a full screen because I won't remember the name. There it is, IATP.org, an independent organization. I found this very helpful yesterday. It not only went through all the numbers, one through seven, but listed in great detail all the chemicals that are in there. And I think the final word today is you can't undo what you've exposed your kids to. But we make decisions every day in our households environmentally. If your gut is, there are, there are options 
then make those choices. But don't beat yourself up for what you have and what you have or haven't done. It's going to take quite a while for us to sort this out. Dr. Nancy Snyderman, Doc, thanks very You're much. You're welcome.